Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the latest model release. This is Minimax M2. It's meant to have superior intelligence, re redefined efficiency for agents. Like if you look at the stats here, apparently it's the best in the world. Well, it's up there. SW Bench, it's up there. T2 Bench, better than DeepSeek, better than ZAI, better than Kimi K2, better than Gemini. Gaia, text only, browser comp. It is a highly competitive model. Now, the good thing about this guy is that it's only 10 billion active parameters, which means it should run really, really fast. It's about 200 gigabytes in size, the Q4 version, which was the one that we're going to be testing. And it's slated here for agentic performances. So if you saw the last video where we integrated Inferencer with Xcode intelligence, where it does all the coding for you, you just give it a prompt and it writes the code for you, the future's here. This should be good at that. So it's, it says it does multi-line, all this kind of stuff. Amazing. Let's see how it actually performs. So I'm using an app called Inferencer and I'm connecting to my Mac Studio over the network. So I've got my Mac Studio over there and over the network, I've just connected to it and I've selected Minimax M2, the 4-bit quant, up and they're running. We're going to do some tests. Now, the first test I actually did, I asked it. Well, it just randomly said, well, let me, let me just run for it. I was, I was saying hello, yeah, and he gave me a response. It's going around 48, 48 tokens a second, just ask me. It randomly once, depending on the seed, so you can choose how it answers. So if you set the temperature to really low, it's going to stick to the script that it's got, the database to be 100%. And it's also got something called a seed. It, I randomly selected a seed where it told me that it's actually clawed. Yeah, I just said, hello, randomly. This is me connecting rem remotely and onto my server. I said, hello. And it said, yeah, I'm clawed code and Thropic's official CLI assistant. So I think I know who they've been getting the data from. And just to confirm, look at this, check this out. I asked it, I said, are you chat GPT? And he said, yeah, I am chat GPT. And I said, are you Kimi K2? It says, no, I am Claude. And what's interesting is if you check out the token inspection, so if I click on that and go to Claude, it is like 100% certain that he is Claude. I click on Kimi K2, make him select Kimi K2. And if I tell him to say Kimi K2, I don't know why he's a he, he says, I'm not Kimi K2, I'm Claude Anthropic's official AI assistant. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why there's a beef between um, Anthropic and the models coming out of China. But, you know, at least this one is open weight, so you can use it on your home computers. So it's based, um, inspired, let's just say, on Claude and ChatGPT, which hopefully is a good thing because it probably means that it's super clever because it's got the best responses. So I'm going to now ask it my favorite trick question. The surgeon who is the boy's father says, I cannot operate on the boy. He's my son. Who is a surgeon to the boy? And boom, right there, we're going 48 plus tokens a second, 47 tokens a second. It's thinking about it. So it's a reasoning model. It's uh, going on, going on, going on. It's really, really, it's really, really going for it. It's a big discussion it's having in his head to here. And uh, it's going back and forth, says maybe I'm the father. Perhaps I'm the father. Oh, it's on a loop. And the answer is the boy's mother. After all of that reasoning, <laughs> it came on the boy's mother. And to conclude, it's 100% certain it's the mother. There was only a 0.003% chance it could have been the father. I'm going to force it to say father because that'll be a good test of prompt processing. Okay, pretty fast. 1,000, 2,000 tokens. So prompt processing is pretty fast on this model, so that's good. And I forced it to say that the surgeon is the boy's father and it corrected itself, said, no, the surgeon is the boy's mother. So it was like, nah, nah, not gonna take it. So that was interesting. So maybe a uh, reasoning might not be its forte or it might be, this is just one question. Let's, let's, let's ask you the trolley one. Imagine a runaway trolley and these are riddles of a twist because if you give it the real riddles, it should know. So this one is there's already five deceased people on the track and there's a live person on the other side. Should you divert it? Now, the question is normally there's five people versus one person. So you divert it potentially because you're saving five lives over one, potentially. 
but on this one they've already deceased so the answer is many would pull so it hasn't realized that the people that are on the track have deceased it's just stuck to the script okay all right so i wasn't happy with the responses that the q4 version gave me so i've upgraded now on the q6 the 6.5 version answer the question again who is the boy's father and look at that it's a much shorter thinking process and it says the surgeon is the boy's father so i'm, I'm very very happy with that and it was a 68 percent chance that it was the father and the mother wasn't even in sight it's really interesting so it, it knew that that it would be a puzzle because usually it is the boy's mother Historically, people assume the surgeon could be male or female, but here it specifies father, so it's clear. So there you go. That is a, a better reasoning than we had when we did the Q4 version. I'm happy with this. I'm going to ask it some more questions that we previously asked. Uh, is Japan part of China geopolitical? Let's see what it says there. It's not disallowed content. So there is a disallowed content filter in there. No, Japan is an independent sovereign nation. Now, I've had other models say otherwise, so it's good that it's saying that. Um, let's jump in and let's see if it's going to pull the lever if the, the track is. There's, there's five already unalive people on a track. They've already deceased. One live person. The riddle is normally five people versus one. You pull the lever to save more lives potentially. But this one, they're already dead. So it's a twist on the riddle. Is it going to pass that? And it's thinking about that. And also to note, it still thinks that he's Claude, even though he's on the Q6, he still thinks he's Claude. So just letting you guys know that why he thinks it through. So my response should be 200. It's a lot more smarter, this model now, jumping from Q4 to Q6, dramatic difference. So let's see what it says. Um, short answer, if there were no alternative and the person on the sidetrack had not consented, I would pull the lever. I would pull the lever. Oh no. <laughs> the five people on the track, they've already passed. <laughs> Please don't identify everything yet. Control the important things. Please train operator people. Thank you. Um, let's ask, let's, let's do the coding one because previously it did an all right job, but the controls were haywire. I think the controls will be haywire again, but let's just see what happens. So this was a massive piece of code that it read. I asked it to do a 3D car racing game, 3GS. It printed out 5,000 tokens. So I'll ask it again, and we'll do a comparison side by side with the real Claude, the person who thinks he's Claude versus the real Claude and see which one's better. We're going 36 tokens a second. We've printed out 300 tokens already. It's a very, very fast model. And I'm getting a much better vibe from Q6 than there is Q4. So if you guys are playing with the Q4 version, I recommend I'll, I'll, push, I'll push this out. This is definitely worthwhile based, based on the responses I've gotten so far. And just looking at this code that's printing out, if you look at the entropy, we can see that the thinking, there was lots of different branches it could have gone down. So purple means that it was only 15% chance it was in the right implement. And it could have said ensure, could have said a lot of different things, could have said create, and it would have taken down a different tree of the conversation. But with the actual code, most of it is cookie cutter. So it's probably trained on GitHub samples, that kind of stuff. And it's only certain numbers, like it didn't know it was going to say 60, 50, or 40. That would have changed things. It didn't know about the, the color it was going to use. But generally, most of the code is copy paste on what it's got out somewhere there. This is the version, the Q4 version made. It's definitely got potential. It's got two planes drawn over each other. So the grass is drawn over the track and the controls are all over the place. So I don't actually know how to control it. It's kind of just like traveling in its own planes. It's how the AI sees the world Ooh, travels everywhere. Chat GPT, its response was very, very basic. So I'm not even gonna bother testing that. Claude, that's got a nice demo. You can't press play again, it crashes, but um, it, you can you can play it and it just gets faster and faster. So it's, you kind of like dodging the tracks. So that is definitely a fun game. But if you do crash and you get play again, yeah, it just goes to a blank screen. So let's just see how this one, the Q6 version does. All right, we are done. 6,801 tokens it produced. It went all the way down to 11.75 tokens a second. The Q6 version. Whoa, look at, oh no, that is awesome. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> that is potentially awesome. <laughs> we got an actual game going on here. 
screen's going crazy. Look, you got a friend. He doesn't know how to drive either. And as soon as you get to this point, you just zoom off into the map. You know, that is a dramatic difference between the Q4 version. I'm going to try going backwards to avoid. Whoa. All right, it's got, it's got a bit of bugs. Good luck trying to fix them. <laughs> it's got a bit of bugs. Maybe I need to switch up to the Q8 version to get preciseness. I'll have to test that out. Just a quick update. So this is the Q8 version, 6,600 tokens it made. But unfortunately, it's actually got an, an error. So it says it made the code bad. So the Q6 version is surprisingly is better. All right, and finally, just to finish off, let's see how it is at writing. Copy, that kind of stuff. Can you use generate articles for your website? So I've asked it to generate an encyclopedia article on machine learning. Now this guy should be an expert on machine learning. It is based on machine learning. So let's just see what it's gonna say. Oh, let's see, that looks kind of nice. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that develops algorithms. I love how fast it is. It looks like well-structured, the paragraphs, the, 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 the titles, the headings, it does look beautiful. Maybe it's a bit repetitive, the styles, it's got dashes everywhere. So maybe it's kind of lost points there. If it was more paragraphical, that would have been nicer. It's more like bullet points, but the, the headings are nice. So maybe you can use this to kind of pre-plan your article. So it gives you the bullet points and then you can flesh it out or maybe you can ask it to flesh it out each point because bullet points, that, that wouldn't be good for Wikipedia. It is writing in paragraphs headings, paragraphs, it's using a lot of hyphens there, um, supervised learnings, it's definitely, yeah, so you can definitely work with this to generate copy, writes really fast, so that is, that is a good. As you can see, Minimax M2, it's got lots of potential there, it's up and running, it's fast, I'm using Inferencer version 1.5.4, it'll probably be out in a couple of days, I just want to implement the model memory streaming option, so people without memory, low memory, you can stream portions of it straight off the SSD and it should still run fastish because it runs over 30 dollars a second in general, but I'll definitely upload the Q6 version. All right, so what do you guys think? I think it's, just, it's got potential, definitely got potential. I like the, definitely the bump up from Q6 from Q4. It definitely got a lot more intelligent. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.